One of the challenges in manufacturing cell therapy products is making sure that you get the right batch to the right patient. We often call that chain of identity. In autologous cell therapy, an individual batch is produced for a specific patient. The manufacturing process actually begins in a clinical setting where a blood or a tumor sample is taken from a patient. Then it needs to be delivered to the manufacturing facility where they will isolate the cells that are needed to produce the specific therapy of interest. So you can imagine that because it's for an individual patient, you need to ensure that you have the right materials and you're tracking that to that right patient to get it back to them. These are in addition to the normal challenges that most life sciences manufacturers face. These kinds of challenges include ensuring that you're adding the materials to the batch that the materials are released, ensuring that equipment is in the proper state, ensuring that operators are properly trained. We have worked with our customers to provide technology solutions which help our customers to track materials, track the execution of the batch, and ensure that they're working on the right material at the, and the right batch at the right time. When a manufacturer receives a patient's material on site, they will barcode label it, and then it can be tracked throughout the facility to ensure that it's being used properly. So when an operator is manipulating the process, they use the barcode on the bag to ensure that they're working on the right batch. In addition, they use the workflow instructions to ensure that they are performing the right activities on that batch. That along with electronic workflow can be used to ensure right first time manufacturing. Are you manufacturing a product that requires chain of identity tracking? Do you need to ensure right first time manufacturing? If so, please share your experiences and contact us through the community on Emerson Exchange 365.